Silent herald of life and death, success or failure. The unseen force that measures man's destiny, reaching its most fateful moment as it slowly strikes the eleventh hour. Candy boy, not a damn railway guard in sight. Better check out every van, Mick. Uh-huh. Spoke too soon, son. Get back out of sight. Been too many of them down hobos riding free in the last few months. Well, I wish they'd choose the passenger trains. Give us a break. Hey, we better get on back to God's van, Mick. It's plenty good now. Pull out to Springfield as soon as we're hitched up, Jackie. Nice night for Flanagan. Maybe did care for Boston anyhow. <laughs> Too many stuff, Jackie. Well, come on, Mick. We can check the vans at Springfield. You know, Flanagan must be just about ready to retire, ain't he, Jackie? He's been putting his age back for so long he's just entering his teens. <laughs> Yo. Whoever it is up there who watches over hobos like me, I thank you. Now, let me see. Well, which one? Yeah, candy boy. That's ought to do okay. Hmm, smells all right, too. Ain't had no livestock in it for a while. Yeah, lots of nice, clean straw. Oh, be downright ungrateful. Ask for nothing else. Hey, the New York Express pulling that right on time. You know, it don't seem right somehow. Folks sitting up like a lot of darn stuffed dummies when they could ride in comfort on a nice, better store. And just don't understand at all. Look at them. So miserable. They look every one of them. Better get this door shut, I guess. <clears throat> uh, now, uh, just make a smoke. Hey, listen. What, what the? Who's there? Who is it? Uh, don't make a move till I get a look at you. What? Well, I'll be dang whistle hog tied, wall eyed, horn toed. What are you doing on my train? I'm running away from home. Well, you just go run away someplace else, Sonny. You just open that door there and take yourself out of here. Go on, hurry up, young shaver. We're pulling out. Too late. I'm stuck with you all the way to Springfield. Who are you, anyway? What's your name? Peter Merriweather. What's your name? Oh, now don't you start have a conversation with me. I ain't the talking kind. Hey, you, you, you ain't crying, are you? It's dark in here. Can I move over close to you? As long as you don't plan on stealing anything, I suppose it's all right. Just wait till I light another match. Here. Yeah, you, you better wrap this coat of mine around you. That suit's about the stupidest thing anyone ever jumped the rattler in. You feel better now? Yes, thank you, mister. Mister... Oh, all right, down here, if it makes you feel better, the name's Peterson. Candy Peterson. And I don't want any of that mister stuff, either. If you got to talk to me, call me Candy. Oh, oh, and then he bucked the thumb off. I don't mind the dark so much now. Mm, that works, eh? Are you running away from home? Me? Son, this freight train is my home right now. 
When we get to Springfield, I'll find me another home under a bridge, maybe, by the river. It's uh, while I take a look around, and then I'll find another goods van, or maybe I'll just walk a little to Springfield and sleep out night under the stars. <laughs> My home's all over, boy. All over. Wherever the fancy takes me. Would you take me with you? I would not. You take my advice, boy. When you get a drink here, will you ring up your folks and tell them to come and get you? What did you mean a while back when you said jumping the rattler? I don't want to talk about your folks, huh? Hmm. Well, jumping the rattler is riding free like we're doing now. Not paying the way ordinary folks do. Makes us kind of VIP. Why are you running away, son? Oh, I hate Boston. Mm, don't know what's it like it myself. How old are you? Nearly 11. Mm, it's kind of young to be a hating man. How long have you been out in this here van? All afternoon. I was afraid they'd find me. Well, that shows how inexperienced you are. You don't jump a train till, uh, just before she's leaving, when the guards are busy with other things. You know, Peter. <laughs> There ain't a train pulls out of a station anywhere in America that I don't know the time of its departure. You've been on that many trains? All of them, son, all of them. Gee, you must be old. Old? Old? old. What's what been old got to do with it? You have been to so many places. Yeah, it's a question of years, boy. It's a question of how you use it. Now, from folks, they like to get up in the morning, scratch themselves, and swallow vitamin pills, shave, bath, and then sit down to breakfast and make them feel sick. Then they kiss their wives like they hated the sight of them. <laughs> and the way they go to the office, they go another outset. They work all day and join their friends, most of whom they hate anyway, for a drink after work, and get home stewed and slaw through dinner and watch TV. <laughs> and they bathe again, scratch themselves, go to bed and dream about all the money they made. <laughs> uh, that's the wrong kind of way to use the years you got. My father's very rich. Oh, is he? He's a real important man in Boston. That's so. You mean you never heard of Hiram J. Meriwether the third? Nope, never. You the fourth. Oh, in Boston, being the son of Hiram J. Meriwether means an awful lot. But it sure does stop me having any fun. Sometimes. I don't let the other kids who aren't the fourth of anything. And they have fun all the time. Only one fourth that matters, Peter. That's the fourth of July. <laughs> now, you better try and get some sleep, because I'm trying to do likewise. I sure we should let you come with you when we get to Springfield. Hey, not the chance in the world, boy. With the thoughts I have, I got all the company I need. We ain't scheduled to stop anywhere before spring Do you think they're stopping because of us? Uh, wait till I get this door open. Just enough to let me take a peek and... Hey! What's wrong, Mr. Candy? It seems like a lot of folks standing up there near the engine talking. Just a bit of a sign, that's all. They're coming this way, boy. I'm getting out of here. I'm coming with you, Mr. Candy. Now, listen, son, I ain't got time to argue. And I'm telling you that... Oh, all right, come on. We've got to be quick. Now, I'll slip out first and help you down, and then we'll cut across the road. I checked every man but these two on the end, Flanagan. It's too late, son. Get back here in the corner. Brother Ford, Mr. Murray Willis? No sign of anyone in there, driver. It's my father. A great dandy. I'd try not to think about the Van Richardson kid if I were you, Mr. Merriweather. Chances are your boy is tucked up at home right now. If he was, I wouldn't be here, officer. Hey, look, this door's open. Someone's been into this van. Shiny torch in there, officer. Okay. Nope, don't look like. Well, I'll be darned. That's your boy, Mr. Merriweather? Yes, that's him, all right. Someone with him, too. Come on out you get, both of you. You, uh, you all right, Peter? Of course I am, Dad. I... Who are you, mister? 
What are you doing with my son? What were you, where were you taking him? Now, you just hold everything. I... Uh, how much were you going to ask me for it before you cut my son's throat? What? Don't play it dumb with me. You ever know a kid by the name of Van Rusadin? He was kidnapped, so don't you know that either? And he was found with his throat cut in a goods van at a railway siding down in New London. Now look, Mr. Murray, I'll do right. the talking, officer. I want this man arrested for kidnapping my son. Now, see here, I don't know what's gotten into you, mister, but I never saw your boy in my life before. Not till I sneaked into this van back in Boston. Is that right, son? Uh, look, Mr. Merriweather, me and Flanagan are way behind schedule now. We've got a roll. Is that thing. so? Well, maybe you don't know it, but I own a sizable pile of stock in this line. You're both going to hear more about this a whole lot more. Not just a moment. You're well, Flanagan, aren't you? Well, next time I'd make sure the guard checks the vans the way he's supposed to. Now, let's have it, boys. Where was this man taking you? We were going to Springfield. Because that's the way the train was going. That's the only reason. I, I... warned you to keep quiet. Now, shut up. Did he hurt you, son? Oh, no. There's nothing to be afraid of, Peter. He can't do anything to you now. Where did you first meet him? Did he come by the house? I don't even know where you live, Mr. Merriweather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, officer. Don't say it. I know. Shut up. But he said he would hurt me if I didn't go with him. Why, you little... You hear that, officer? Maybe he did kill the van resident kid, officer. All right, now, let's take it easy, all of you, eh? Let the boy finish. Let's hear it, son. Uh, well, you were right, Dad. He came by the house and, and said we go for a walk. Then we came down a good yard and climbed into this van. Hey, wait a minute. He kept on asking me lots of questions about you, Dad. Wanted to know how much money you had and everything. You heard enough, officer. I sure have. He's lying, I tell you. You better save it, mister. You get all the time you need to tell it in court. Now, come on, let's go. Go through it all again, right from the jump, huh? By the great horn, toad of Jehoshaphat, I told you the story over and over. Look, Bud, me, I'm just a dumb cop, but I can read the angles like anyone else. Now, if it had been any other kid but Hiram Merriweather's boy Peter, I'd go along with you. But hobos like you don't meet kids like that in the goods van of a train. Not unless you took the kid there. That right, Sergeant? Sure is, Lieutenant Siegel. Look, what's with you guys? So I'm a hobo. Does that make me a liar? And I got rights like any other American? We're not here to discuss the Constitution, Peterson. Look, come clean. Make it easier for yourself. Who do you think they're going to believe in court? You or this Merriweather kid? You got two strikes against you from the jump. Why? Because you want to pin the Van Risen and killing on me so you can finish with it. Not unless it's right for size. But you admit you can't remember where you were when that kid was killed. Now, think back, Peterson. The 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of February, four months ago. How many times do I have to tell you I could have been anywhere? Maybe Arkansas, maybe California. Maybe New London, Connecticut. Yeah, yeah, maybe I was. That's where the kid was found. With his throat cut. Mm, Massachusetts and Connecticut. They're neighboring states, Peterson. The Van Risen kid was found in a goods van. So was this Merriweather boy. Yeah, but I hadn't gotten around to killing him yet. Go on and see it. It's what you're thinking. No good my seeing it. It's you who's doing the talking. But you better start remembering. 
And fast. Now, listen to me, both of you. Sure, I could have been in Connecticut, but I wasn't. You got proof of that? No, I ain't got proof. I travel all over, go any place. Places don't mean anything. It's what's inside you that counts. Well, Lieutenant Seal, I did not kidnap this kid. I never saw him before I climbed into that van early tonight. <sighs> Look, we got the kid's statement right here, Peterson. You want to hear it again? No, I don't. Uh, I, I wonder how that poor kid feels right now. And a relief to be home, I guess. He sure seemed young to be such a liar. A real nice kid. That's what folks said about the Van Risen kid. A real nice kid. The kind of boy you kill if his parents don't come through on time. Well, you stop saying that. It's not true. It's not right. Okay, so you don't believe me. Go on, lean back and smirk, both of you. I never hurt anyone in my life. I guess, in a way, that's why I am what I am, a hobo, a drifter. Ah, there's peace in being like me, for me, that is. A peace you wouldn't even begin to understand. Mike and not the strangers, <laughs> sure. If they smile back at me, that's nice. It's warm. I can watch the sun come up and know that no one's seen it the way I am, out in the open with the sky for a roof. I can sit right down by a brook after a long walk on a hot bitumen road, and I can dunk my feet in the water and bathe them for free, like as if I was a kind of king and the water belonged to me. Oh, that's what you tell these kids when you take them with you? <sighs> Lieutenant Seager, I'm telling you now, you go ahead, pin a kidnapping rap on me, send me to the chair if you want for the Van Risen kid. But neither you nor anyone else can make me out a liar. Hmm. Peterson, you got any money? Nope. Well, I'll get the state to appoint you a lawyer. With Hiram J. Merriweather riding here on you, you're going to need one. Lieutenant Sagal, you ain't falling for this deadbeat double talk, are you? Take him back to his cell, Sergeant. And bring me some bicarb, will you? I've got indigestion. Paper! Paper! Merriweather kidnapping possible link with Van Rizzard and murder. <laughs> He's guilty, all right. Guilty as all get out, Claude. What was that? Oh, it all started in the club. I'd been talking with Van Rizzerton about his boy. Yes, yes. Hmm. Seems like nowadays that's all he wants to talk about. I came on home, found Peter gone, and I started thinking. Well, I didn't like what I was thinking one little bit. What? Oh, the train. Well, that's easy enough to figure out. There was only one good train leaving Boston yesterday. I pulled a few strings, had it flagged down at the old siding. You should have seen that cop's face when we found him, Claude. If I had my way, he'd be lynched. Who? No, 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 not the cop. Peterson the hobo. Oh, hello, son. I'll be right with you. Uh, yeah, I'll drop by your office, Claude. Give you the whole story. Yes, yes, that's the way I see it, too. The chair's too good for him. Goodbye. Now, Peter. Hey, now, what are you doing home at this hour? You ought to be at school. Dad, I've got to talk to you. Now, look, Peter, if it's about the other night, you just try to forget the whole thing. You haven't got to even think about that until the case comes to court. That's why I've got to talk to you, Dad. It mustn't come to court. What? Last night, I... It wasn't right what I said about candy, Dad. But but you, you stood there and told everyone... I know I did. I'm sorry, Dad, but I thought it was what you wanted me to say. Everyone was shouting at everyone else, and I... If it was dark, I lied. Just like that? Well, you said if I ever ran away again, you'd send me to boarding school. I see. So that's what it was. 
You were running away from home, like all the other times. Yes, Dad. I guess I knew it all the time. Was it for the same reason, Peter? I can't believe she won't ever come home again, Dad. Now, look, Peter, your mother's dead. You know that. We both know it. It's just the two of us now. You always say that, Dad. But we're not two people together. We're both here, but... You never want to talk to me, and you're always too busy to have any fun with me. Now, you just listen to me, Peter. No, oh, no, never mind. You realize what you've done, don't you? I am going to look the biggest fool in Boston. I've shouted my head off about this whole business in all the papers. Do you have any idea what you've done? Will we go down to the police station now, Dad? I ought... No, 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 wait. I've got to think this thing out. But Candy's in jail. Where his kind belong, he's a hobo, a derelict. He was kind to me, Dad. You let me sit next to him when it was dark and I was frightened. Will you be quiet? I'm trying to think. All right, all right. So he didn't kidnap you. He didn't come by the house. But that doesn't mean he wouldn't have done so. Once he knew who you were, boy. He did know. I told him. And they're probably proving right now that he murdered the Van Rizzerton boy anyhow. I'm going to the police, Dad. I've got to... Do you know who I was talking to just now on the phone? Claude Beery. Now, he is going to feature this story in his radio program. And you're supposed to be on the program with me. Now, what am I going to say to him? How's it going to look to people to find out that it's all a, a, a pack of lies? Can we go now? No, we can't. You're not telling this to anyone yet. Do you hear me? I've got to find a way of hushing this up. Date moves to set date in Meriwether kidnapping case. Read all about it. Paper, paper. <laughs> Now, look, Peterson, just because I'm a cop doing a job doesn't mean I want to pin a rap on you if you're in the clear. Now, you had two weeks to remember back to February. Two whole weeks. Now, think, man, think. Where were you on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th of February four months ago? Lieutenant Siegel, it was you got me a lawyer, and for that I'm grateful to you. But I only do my talking when he's here. Oh, for Pete's sake, man. I was arrested for the kidnap, and I didn't have any part out. I didn't persuade that boy, Merriweather, to come with me on the train, and I didn't even know there was anyone called Van Risenden until Hiram Merriweather began shooting his big mouth off. Look, Peterson, in the minds of most people in Boston, you're guilty before your trial even starts. Now, I've seen what happens when people think like that. Will you get it through your thick head that I'm trying to help you? Yeah, what is it? Oh, it's you, Sergeant. Trouble? Hey, routine check the ass for on Peterson. Take a look. Hmm. From Louisville, Kentucky. That's interesting reading, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, it sure does. Thanks, Sergeant. No strain, Lieutenant. Not on me, anyway. You sure have got a bad memory, Peterson. Peterson. You ever been in Kentucky? I told you, Lieutenant, I've been all over. No Louisville? Like I know any other town. It's got people in it and houses and streets and autos and good and bad. Peterson. Does it have a jail? I guess so. And you can't remember back to February, huh? In February, on the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, you were in jail in Louisville for vagrancy, you stupid old... Oh, you couldn't have kidnapped the Van Rizzerton kid if you'd wanted to. You got the best alibi a man ever had. This information comes from the police chief in Louisville. And don't sit there smirking at me, you stubborn old goat. Why, I would have... You got visitors, Hosanna. Well, tell them to come back some other time. Who you you'll want to see... Come on in, both of you. Thanks, Sergeant. Candy, Mr. Peterson, it's you I've got to see. Hold it, will you? Thanks, Sergeant. No strain, Lieutenant. Not on me, anyway. I wanted to come down the very next day, Mr. Candy. I wanted to tell the truth then. You didn't kidnap me. You didn't make me go with you. It was all my idea. I was running away from home. You were good to me, Candy. I, I didn't... said hold it, son. Thanks. Boy, tell him the truth, Mr. Merriweather. He is, Lieutenant. 
And I wasted the state's money getting you a lawyer, Peterson. All right, sonny boy, let's have it from the start, huh? And let's have it slowly so that a tired cop can figure it all out. Well, sir, it was like this. Looks like your luck's turned, Candy Boy. Nice, comfortable, good van just to back on you in. Yeah, pulling out right in time, too. Bet you get aboard <coughs> and get the smell of Boston out of your nostrils. Hey, <sighs> sure is a sight more comfortable than that darn cell. Get the door shut. Settle down for the night. Can't understand it at all. Man's got himself to talk with. Why does he want anyone else? Hey, Mr. Peterson, Candy. You've <laughs> been too long in jail, Peterson. You hear him say. It's me, Peter. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't believe it. It can't be. Stay right where you are, son, till I get a match struck. It's struck in the same place, twice running. Where has Mr. Peterson? You, Lightning, the whole shebang. I'm getting out of here. No, no, wait. We don't want to talk to you. I'm tougher, boy. I don't ever want to see you or your kid again. Wait for me, Candy. Wait for From me. From now on, I'm walking, son. Right in the middle of the road. It's safer. Come back, Candy. Please come back. You're the only real friend I got, Candy. Be listening for another mounting drama of action and suspense when we again bring you The Eleventh Hour. <laughs> <laughs>